Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. You're on? Okay, so Christina's on the camera. She's a client, and this is her baby. I've known Christina a while, a few years, uh, more than a few years. Uh, we're going to come over here. Uh, as I'm grooming her dog, I can smell a very a strong stench, and it's not anal glands. Anal glands is very fishy. So as I was grooming, it's all gone now. I've shaved up in here and cleaned that out real good. That's good and all. But as a groomer, you want to be able to open this up, and this to me looks very infected. Um, and there's a smell, just a very rich smell. So I'm actually going to take a 40. This is a 40 blade. I'm going to spray disinfectant just in case on there. I don't want to nick this, so you want to be careful. I'm going to clean this out, but I do recommend checking to see. I'm going to clean it out. It's like it's gotten real matted in there and build up of a, whatever it is that's happening, like an infection. So don't dig hard with your 40, but if you want to take clean this out. I'm going to clean this out. This is my opinion. I'm really just looking. Just kind of get some of that, expose some of it, okay? I'm being very careful here, watching everything I'm doing. Okay, real tough area, real private area too. Mm -hmm. So what I would be doing now is, uh, just want to make sure if it's knotted in there, we get that knotted out. And um, it's very thick and smelly and that that creamy should not be in there okay you shouldn't be creamy in there okay and as women we know that right so i'm just gonna i'm not a veterinarian i think she needs to go see i'm telling her to go see a veterinarian so i'm just going to get some of this creamy stuff out of there just a little bit um, but something she had said to me and so you can kind of see it still so there's gunk in there mm -hmm. So that's just temporary, that'll help a little bit, but I definitely recommend you see a veterinarian. Um, it to, I'm not a veterinarian, but this is a, I've worked with veterinarians, many of them, and I wanna say this is a, maybe a urinary tract infection, bladder infection, that the smell, the smell really, you can smell it, like, it's funky. Uh, smells in the ears, the anal gland area, obviously that private area, and the mouth. Whenever there's a real bad stench, there's usually bacteria growth there, not good bacteria either, so. Uh, take the time to go see a veterinarian regarding this area so it doesn't get worse and then you said something earlier that she has accidents does she kind of have a urinary accident every now and then kind of thing sometimes when there's an urinary tract infection you'll see that a lot or you'll see a dog drinking a lot more water than normal yes. any of those things kind of triggering yeah she's drinking a lot more water and she doesn't even make it down the stairs before she pees okay so now Am I, isn't this hitting home a little bit, what I'm yeah. saying? I have nothing, to, I haven't seen this dog in two years at least. So some of those things, if they make sense, then that's what it is. She probably has urinary tract infection, okay? Yeah. So um, thanks for doing the, the recording, and uh, this is Christina. Uh -huh. So uh, you'll see a veterinarian soon, yeah. and get that, and then she'll let us know what she finds out, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, great.